Well, family gets a sad surprise at a local cemetery as they're told their loved one isn't buried where they thought he was. A Detroit family makes an upsetting discovery while taking on the somber task of exhuming a loved one's body. They wanted to move the remains out of Gethsemane Cemetery on Gratiot near Connor, but those remains were nowhere to be found beneath the grave marker. Priya Mann live at the cemetery. Priya, uh, there were other bodies in that spot. Four. Four, four bodies was in there, and none of them was his. A Detroit family was shocked when they discovered their loved one's grave site had several bodies inside. Everybody that got a loved one at Gethsemane, get up here and figure out where y'all people at, because they not where they said they at. Desmond Stinson had suffered seizures for years and died in his sleep. All these years, he died in 2016. We out here visiting somebody else. At where his grave marker is at. The family buried him at Gethsemane Cemetery. Desmond's mom recently passed and the family wanted to bury Desmond next to his mother at a different cemetery. When they tried to exhume the body, they found several in his plot. Uh, There's no reason why a single grave has four people in it. How? And we pay for a single one. Everybody is blaming somebody, but that we are the victims in all of this. This cemetery is messed up. The family is now worried this isn't an isolated case. If that's not my loved one, whoever Allen C. Williams is, I just seen their body in my loved one spot. So I got other family members out here. Are they where they're supposed to be at? Yeah, this is just a heartbreaking and unbelievable discovery. The city did release a statement saying in part, we deeply apologize for the pain and upset this mistake has caused the Stinson family and are working to fully correct it as soon as possible. At this time, we believe there was a record keeping issue related to this gravesite. Based on our review of available records, we believe Mr. Stinson was buried in an adjacent grave. Now, the city is working to confirm that. Meanwhile, state police are now tasked with trying to determine who those other Four people were reporting live tonight. I'm Priya Mann, number four. Well, Priya, talk a little bit about the city's history of owning that cemetery. So, as you know, Devin, this cemetery has been around since the 1800s. Yeah. The city took ownership shortly after bankruptcy, and they say that a management company walked away from its contract last year. So, the city currently in litigation with that company and won't release any further information on that. All right, Priya. Send it back to you.